Here's the DAWA IPC HDB 3200CN, and this is a uh, NTSC camera, 2 megapixel. Uh, first thing you'll notice is it's uh, not very large, uh, despite the fact that it's 2 megapixel. Um, now, just kind of an overview of the camera. What we have is uh, three connection points. This is a aluminum housing on the front, acrylic dome, and then a aluminum housing on the back, ground. You've got a PoE plug for Cat5 uh, and e Ethernet, and you have 12 volts you can also put in if you don't want to run PoE. Uh, you have three mounting spots, you can see there. Um, I've gone ahead and removed the uh, cover from the top, but it does come with tools and some mounting things, including the Allen wrench here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. And actually here, go ahead and undo the last screw here. Now the screws have retainers in them, so if you're up on the top of a uh, ladder, don't worry, they won't fall out. They've got little O-rings on them. All right, now this is a waterproof camera. You can see the seal all the way around the outside as is the cable here. The cable comes out along the side, you can see here. Um, now, you can also flatten out this cable and make it come out the side if you have completely flush mount. You can see that there's a notch in the corner here. Uh, three mounting spots again. Uh, on the camera it has an SD card. You can put a micro SD card in here and cord to it. You can also FTP, you can do ONVIF if you have a compatible application. And there are a variety of other applications that uh, work with this camera. Um, now, there's also a reset button, so if uh, you forget the IP address or some other problem, you can reset it. Uh, there is a adjustable eyeball mount, you can see you can move it side to side. Now there is a limit here on how far you can move it over. I had an extreme angle where I needed to be at this angle. I just unscrewed these two screws, took this cover off, and cut it down, and it was fine. Uh, it has a standard 12 millimeter screw in lens. That lens is held in with a set screw so that it won't come loose. Now uh, you can also uh, go in and you can move it around using your tool here and you just put it in this slot down here. I don't know if it works 100 percent but uh, you're supposed to be able to move that around. Um, overall it's a very small uh, camera the, the output is just phenomenal. You can get lenses ranging from 2.8, this has got a 3.6 here, uh, all the way up to, I have a 12 millimeter lens uh, that just screws right in there and it, no problem at all. Uh, now, what else is in the box here? You do have a, uh, a manual and you have a sticky guide so you know you can actually take this and stick it. It's just, you know, sticky. Stick it on there, drill your holes and it's already marked, so you know exactly where to put it. Uh, now, in there also is a web interface. The web interface is pretty good. Um, there's no chinglish for the most part. It's got lots of configuration, does two streams, RTSP. Uh, works with a lot of applications, and anything that's uh, not specifically designed this usually works with ONVIF or RTSP, depending on your application. Uh, great camula camera. The Resolution on this is phenomenal. Now, the only drawback I would say is in complete darkness, forget about it. This is not IR sensitive, so you can't throw up some IR um, emitters and light up an area. You're better off just putting up, let's say, a 13 watt compact fluorescent, light up the area with natural light. Uh, it works great. Won't even switch into black and white. Um, other than the low light, which is typical of CCC, CCD uh, devices, it is a phenomenal camera.